Hey y'all, welcome to CC's Texas Garden. Guys, <laughs> I've been at the store. <laughs> I've been at the store. Um, I wanted to show you this first. This is an apple mint. I never had an apple mint. I don't have apple mint seeds. Uh, this was $2.29, but you know it's an herb. So it's going to spread. And uh, so I'm going to repot that. But I want to show you what I got. Now, I got some last night. And I was like, why didn't I get more? I kept like beating myself up. Like, why didn't you get more? And so today, when I got off work a little early, <laughs> just take that in, y'all. Take it in. This is my soil for spring 2024. I don't plan on buying any more soil. And not until at least maybe fall of next year. I don't know. But I don't plan on it in a while. Let me show you what I have. These... <laughs> are these bags when i said i went out of town guys i was with my daughter yesterday we had a great time and we stopped by um it's called fisher's hardware store i don't know if you have one in your area you might want to go check out and see if you're in texas i don't know if it's gonna find another because this is a texas product product of texas uh it is a family-owned business 40 pounds y'all they were three for 12 three for 12 and i only got three yesterday and i also got some mushroom compost of the same um uh, from the same place uh but i got nine bags of soil nine 40 pound bags of soil i think that should be pretty good pretty good uh so yeah, let me show you. I'm gonna leave this right here because uh, it's gonna take your girl a while to lift all these bags. So let's go ahead and go to the garden. I'm gonna take my little apple mint because if Domino pee on it, me and him are going to fight. Look at him. <laughs> you know we're going into the garden. All right. It's so extra loud. Just just doing the most. Well, guys, we had like torrential rains uh, last night. And uh, you know, the garden loves some rain. And as you can turn to the left over here, oh my goodness. Look at that, y'all. So this is a raised bed that I made. You know what I got planted in here? Corn. Yep. Corn. I put it in as little kernels. The seeds. I put the seeds in, y'all. I didn't grow it from in the little starter trays like I usually. I, I just hoped because it was a new bed. There's no ants in there. And I planted this corn. So look at them all coming up. That is wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna leave my little apple mint there. These are my blueberries that I transplanted into here. This is my uh, Meyer lemon. These are the bags that I got last night. This is mushroom compost, which I'm gonna mix with my potting soil and just in the garden itself so i got three of the bags of mushroom compost and three of the bags of that potting soil i think i shall be set for a while i i think i think i'm good <laughs> right okay we want to first come over here um let's see what the temp is it is 79 79 degrees under here not too bad I found these garlic cloves, which I'm letting them dry out. I found them in the ground, y'all. It was just, you know, 
they were there and they was looking like some dried up onions and I pulled them and it actually had garlic cloves on there so uh, here is my peppers here is my herb tray and I see some stuff has came up my marshmallow has came up this roselle look at that cute roselle you gonna give me some roselle some borage y'all back there some borage coming up back here some calendula calen calendula <laughs> is coming up i see a yoro a yoro little baby and a little piece of comfrey is coming up and behind here i'm guessing i don't know which if it's a lime basil i mean lime balm or wood botany because it's like right here I don't know what side of the tray is on. Okay, it's in here, so it's lime balm. Coming up, oh, I got some little nasturtiums finna try to pop up as well. Yay! Oh, I got some stuff over here, hold up, hold up. The Genevieve basil, oh yes. Now these were from seeds I had from last year. They are definitely productive. So I do need to, uh, bottom water this tray as well as the pepper trays i did put them under this little lid here i didn't know how much water we was gonna get i didn't want them to drown out my little seedlings but they they need some water some of these things did not come up which is fine i didn't want a million peppers i just wanted some peppers so i'm good with that mm, what else here are some tomatoes don't know what type these are some things I've planted out here. Cherokee purple. This is um some okra. I don't usually plant okra in a pot, but I figured I'll start. Well, I do sometimes. So I put some in a pot, but I like to direct sow them as well. Look at all these berries. Y'all see that? Look at all those berries. This right here is lemon basil. Here is oh they look even bigger these are my ground cherries that um nicole gave me look at those giant ground cherries yes they're about to get in a bigger pot i don't know exactly what this video is going to be i did want to just show you the soil but then i came to the garden and i know y'all don't mind a little garden looky loo right okay we have a, ooh, look at our Eskimo marigolds. These gonna be white marigolds. I'm excited about them and they have popped up. Um, this other stuff, I haven't seen nothing moving around in them yet. I need to wet them again, probably. Oh, we got some lemon basil right here. They are up as well. And of course, all of these goodies, these came from out of those winter sewing jugs. Yeah, I forgot what I, what are these? Um, something. Oh, endive. There's some endive. Swiss char. Some more Swiss char, some tomatoes. <laughs> We gotta come back here. We have uh, two fake plants. Look at that. Another two fake plants. What kind is this? This is a sweet red pepper. So, and then come back here. There's a bag I need to get get out of the garden. But I'm gonna put this mushroom compost in different areas in here. And uh, this y'all i have i'm hoping this cabbage close up and not bolt this one this is already bolted oh b didn't mean to interrupt you but i'm letting it go to seed because i'm going to collect the seeds from them this is the broccoli that bolted another broccoli that bolted that's the cauliflower that broke <laughs> bolted and my poor my poor <laughs> I wanted it to look it went to seed <laughs> I didn't even get to taste it and it went to seed 
but I'm letting all these little seed pods come out because I'm going to plant it again next year. I'm going to plant it again, y'all, because I want to taste that ruffly cabbage to see how it's... <laughs> it's so beautiful. Man, it never formed a head. Nope, it formed this. <laughs> and then they have this one, which is curling. So I'm hoping it go ahead and close up, like close up quick. Quick, so I can have a cabbage head. <laughs> Look at all of these seeds. This is from the broccoli. All from that broccoli stem. Tons of broccoli seeds. I won't have to buy broccoli seeds ever, never, ever. Like basil, like so many other Nebraskas. I don't have to buy any more seeds. Mm -mm. Okay. We even have one of the Georgia collards bolting. Oh, as you can see, I cleaned out that this was the mustard greens, the Florida broad, the India and the Florida broad mustard leaves uh, greens. Took them out. This was my um, most, what it was, my green top. What were they called? The turnip seven top seven top turnips y'all now <laughs> i don't know if they're you're supposed to keep harvesting them or did i put in some turnips in this bed as well but y'all up under there is turnips i didn't even dig them all out i was just like no <laughs> there were too many in there so i just There's, um turnips under there we're gonna see if they come back next year mm -hmm. uh, my baby's here. Look at this. This is showing out. This is my candy roaster. Yes, I can't leave it in that container. I was just growing it in there at the beginning. Um, yeah, candy roaster. It survived that little cold snap we had. It survived. These two are here of the Kusha. They survived. And then I put in four plants and they're already up. That's crazy. Here is the strawberries that I had got from out of town. The ever bearing. They got strawberries on here. We're about to get some strawberries. Let's move over here. I gotta put plant some stuff in here. I put some uh onion, bulb onions in here. This poor baby. It does not like the heat. They liked it the cold. <laughs> I planned on doing another bed here. I don't know if, if it's too close because how I'm going to get around it. I have to still see if I'm going to put a bed right here or not. And this Russian red kill. Y'all, if you want some a plant that just keeps growing and doing its own thing, this Russian red kill. It's doing its own thing. It's beautiful. You know, you can make kale chips. You can make um, soup with kale in there. All kind of stuff with it. Now here is my cabbage head, that uh, a cabbage that I had cut down, right? But I didn't take the stalk out because they said don't take the stalk out because it's gonna start creating little cabbage heads. And it is, there's one two there's a third one there's three heads on that one cabbage stalk three well they're not complete heads right now but they are forming they're trying to form heads <laughs> that's cool i don't know why i left that one mustard plant over there but i did i need to harvest it and alongside here is my beautiful grapevine and let me show y'all if you haven't seen look at that 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 would be clusters of grapes i where's more each little area has a little clusters of grapes and i'm so excited about it look at that we're gonna have some grapes y'all i never had grapes it's gonna be cool be cool. Here is the onion. 
We about to go to see. Look at that. It's like I love that. Yeah. About to go to see. It's gonna open up that one as well. I see this one have a whole ant bit going on in that one. Don't like that at all. I see you. I see you ants. I'm gonna have to flood that bed. Here's my collars. I need to start, I need to harvest them like hard harvest because I don't want it to do what this one is doing. And last but not least, I cleaned this bed out, y'all. Cleaned it. This is another Russian red kill. And, uh, or is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's another <laughs> Russian red kill. I cleaned this bed out. I did um, stick some onion bulbs in there but pretty much it's clear it just have garlic onions in there which is good to keep away pests and i can plant stuff in here i don't have nothing planted in here because i have so many things in these seed trays i'm gonna need somewhere to stick stuff i don't know if i'm gonna put peppers in here tomatoes in here i don't know i'm gonna have to stick stuff all up in that bed those mustard them red Russian, them red, Japanese red, Japanese red mustards are going to be gone. These um, collards will probably be cut down low. I'm not going to cut them. I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm just going to cut them down low. And I'll fill that bed up with food. And that bed up with food. And this bed up with food. <laughs> Y'all get the gist. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're going to grow some stuff this year, okay? This is right here, that com that white bucket is my compost bucket. It has uh, some vegetables, um, dead leaves, all that. Look at Domino. He love, he loving the garden as well. Look at my um. Let me take this little grass, pull this little grass seed up out of there. Look at my lettuce right there. Yep, my daughter's coming this weekend, and um, I'm going to harvest this lettuce. Be like, here, eat your salad. <laughs> but this is how it's going in the garden. I will, I said one more thing, and then I came over to this bed. This have a lot going on. Mm-hmm, a lot of stuff going on in this. Why well, I want to think, I, I think those is weeds. I don't think those are parsley. I think that's weeds. Uh huh. <laughs> you try to look like you was something. You probably no. These are my parsley's here. I know what they look like. These all here, right here, y'all, is um blue dwarf kale. I planted them all together like that. Mm -hmm. They're doing good. This is mustard. I don't know how this mustard got in there. And look at that. See, there's another one of the trying to look like some, like, oh no, I'm a herb. Mm -mm. Come out of there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, don't be acting like you part of. The, you're not. You're not part of the garden. Weeds. Get out of there. I didn't plant you. Look at that. Uh, over here is my toxoy, which I can eat. The, something is eating the leaves, y'all. Not that's not already time for the insects, is it? They was munching. That's probably an army worm. Yep. They look like army worm bites. He in the soil somewhere. They hide. Down here, they look like the soil color. And uh, then they come up and munch on the leaves. And then they go back on this where they blend in. I'm going to have to check that out. Um, we have cilantro right here. All those carrots on that side. We have this one purple bok choy. Oh, there's another one. Finally, another one come up. These are the purple lady bok choy. These are the big daddy 
greasy leaf greens. They don't look greasy leaf though. They don't look shiny leaves. They're supposed to. I don't know if they get their shine later or not. But I'm going to eat them. Either way. Here's some more rainbow carrots. I'm going to leave these carrots in there for a while until they get, you know, big enough. And all along here is a uh, garlic or onion. I think they're garlics. I think I planted garlic all around here. Yeah, garlic and then it's chives. Little chop. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. See them little bitty, little things look like little pieces of grass. Those are little chives. <laughs> There's another little chive. And come out of there, weed. Come out of there. Yeah, that's a little chive. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off of here. Hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. If you haven't hit subscribe to join the channel, come on, join me. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.